Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on how to efficiently manage your GraphQL API with API Gateway. My name is Babur and I am a developer advocate for Apache API 6. GraphQL is much more efficient and flexible than traditional REST APIs because you can define the structure of the data you need from the server. However, managing GraphQL APIs can be complex, time-consuming, especially if your system is running at large scale. This is where API Gateway comes in. scene. One of the key features of modern API Gateway such as Apache API 6 as it supports for GraphQL APIs, where uh, you can use uh, the GraphQL plugin, which allows you to convert the GraphQL APIs into REST API. In this video, we'll explore this feature with a real-world example, and you will learn and find out answer the following questions like what is the GraphQL plugin, how to use this plugin and how to transform the rest to, to GraphQL and the, in overall how to manage GraphQL API traffic. The GraphQL plugin is able to transform the APIs exposed, to, let's say, by GraphQL backend services into traditional REST APIs endpoints by mapping their URIs into proper GraphQL queries. And calling the REST APIs from typical clients uh, opens up one of some of the benefits of GraphQL for more people. Let's have a look uh, some of the use cases. Use case number one, for example, your existing customers are used to consume REST APIs uh, and they are not familiar with how to write GraphQL queries. In order to keep this thing simple for them, you can use Apache API 6 API Gateway to convert this a GraphQL APIs to REST API. The next use case may be your front-end development team. They want to try existing GraphQL API functionalities throughout the REST API without asking for the backend team to implement a new GraphQL server. Or let's uh, have a look to case three. You have maybe no any access to change the backend uh, server because it's an existing set of GraphQL APIs potentially managed by third-party applications on the services. Use case number four, you have existing REST API infrastructure, but you are looking to evaluate whether GraphQL can work for your needs or not. And the next case, for example, you have a large code base and GraphQL migration is happening on the back end, but you want to use GraphQL now without any delay. Or now, last use case in my list, you might have multiple microservices and they use both combination of approaches like REST APIs and GraphQL and you want to enable smooth communication between them. The GraphQL plugin provides a number of useful features that make it easy to configure and manage your GraphQL APIs, including request validation. It can validate incoming GraphQL requests to ensure they meet certain criteria. This can include checking the structure of the query, enforcing input type concentrates, and many more. Or it can also parse a query. Uh, allowing you to extract specific information from that query and use this to inform your API's behavior. Or you can also make a response transformation. It can transform the GraphQL responses before they are returned to the client. This can be useful for things like normalizing data structure, removing sensitive information, or adding additional data to that response. With enough theoretical knowledge in mind, now we can jump into practical demo of the GraphQL plugin. You can navigate and find on the API 6 documentation about information about this the GraphQL plugin. And the GraphQL needs a GraphQL endpoint to query. As an example, we're going to use one of the free public GraphQL APIs that retrieve information about countries, uh, continents, and languages, as you can see. In this playground, you can write some queries against a GraphQL API on the UI, or you can set variables. In our cases, we are sending country code. You can also build your own GraphQL API using the tools such as Stepzen or Apollo GraphQL provided GraphQL Studio that helps you to build and deploy your own GraphQL API by combining pre-built APIs such as 
uh, Acute Weather, Airtable, GitHub, or Twitter, Trello, and more. For example, you can compose the two Acute Weather and Countries APIs together to collect weather information provided by the specific country or city name. And you can put the API 6 at the front of your query and so on. As you can see, also, um, all, you can for user explorer of Apollo and also after you finish with your APIs, you can make it publicly available. Now our task is to transform the above query definition to simple REST call and send it as a JSON data. As an outcome, the Apache p 6 API gateway exposes a REST endpoint, let's say uh, with a URA pass called country info. And then it should be able to route all the requests to the GraphQL API. In our case, it's country's GraphQL API. For example, all the REST requests to API gateway slash country info uh, your APAS with underlying uh, query post uh, in the post body or in the get body with uh, query parameters. Uh, in our case, by country code should be converted and passed to GraphQL country's API. As you can see, in this case, API 6 can publish REST endpoints, can convert the, this REST endpoint to GraphQL query and route this request. And then also, you can enable some additional features like you can manage API consumers, set authentication, maybe apply some rate limiting policies, or you can even cache responses. How you can uh, play with the GraphQL API. Before you can use the DGraphQL plugin, you need to install Apache API 6. You can follow the installation instructions on the Apache API 6 website to get started. There are a bunch of options how you can bring the API 6. Uh, some of the prerequisites, uh, if you're using Docker, make sure that Docker install it. And also we're gonna use the curl command is to send a, a, some requests to the API 6 uh, against admin API. And of course you can use the tools such as Postman uh, or interact with API. Uh, one of the easiest way to uh, API 6 can be installed is to using the quick, uh, quick start script here and uh, the API 6 will be ready to solve your requests. Up to now, I assume that API 6 is up and running. Next, uh, we'll create an upstream object to register our country's GraphQL API in the API gateway. To do so, I will run the following curl command by accessing the API gateway admin API, and we are showing on the node, as you can see with a single node, we are specifying our upstream service as a country's GraphQL API. And we are using scheme type of HTTPS to securely uh, establish a connection with country's GraphQL API. And we're providing name and description and so on. Once you run this uh, curl command, the API 6 response is OK. Now we have created our first upstream. In the next step, we set up a new plugin config object. We'll use two transformation plugins called uh, Proxy Rewrite and DGraphQL, respectively, to uh, first rewrite the uh, host and URI of the request and make a query to GraphQL API. As you can see, with the following query, and we are also passing the variables. You just uh, copy this uh, curl command and put it in the terminal and press enter and everything goes well. API 6 response with 200 uh, HTTP response code. Next final step involves setting up the new route that uses the plugin configuration and uh, also the upstream uh, configuration with their uh, IDs that we created in the previous steps. And we just provide a, our custom URI, a country info. And we are giving for this route a name and description. Just run this couple command, and now you will see API 6 response also OK. And it's now time to test if our requests are actually forwarding to the GraphQL API. To test the DGraphQL plugin activation, now 
uh, we test this new setup with the following curl command as we started like we are sending post request against our new rest endpoint at api gateway with the uh, variables we are passing to the telegraph ql plugin and if you just uh, copy this command and uh, pass into the terminal and run this command as you can see we got a response actually from country's graphql api now everything is working as we expected and we get a, a country's uh, response you can also transform the responses coming from graphql api with the help of api 6 response rewrite the plugin it's uh, possible to transform these responses uh, before they return, return to the client or API consumer. Let's uh, use this plugin to remove the currency key uh, and value from the response JSON to show only everything else except currency. To do so, uh, we need to add responsive write plugin uh, to the existing plugin configuration, as you can see, and we use uh, instead of post command patch. Uh, request uh, to add append a new response plugin to the existing plugin list uh, let me run this command uh, now everything is fine and next step uh, we can test now if this plugin is installed successfully to test if response write plugin installed we can run the again the cuddle command to uh, make a request to our country info uri in the same way we did and if you press enter, as you can see, on the differences in the response, uh, the JSON data, there is no currency included uh, for the given country or given this, uh, with any other information in place. Overall, the GraphQL plugin is essential tool for any developer building a GraphQL API with API 6 API Gateway. It's powerful features. Uh, it is a user, easy to use a configuration, make it uh, uh, easy to integrate into your existing API gateway while, while it supports for GraphQL specific functionalities to ensure that your API is uh, performant, reliable and scalable. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Apache API 6, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.